I do. We have some questions for you, though. The world is my It was my job. I was told to do that. I, I don't... What does it matter anyway? It's done. It's over. I'm a different man now. It's been decades. I've been eating out of trash cans. I barely remember anything from back then. I have been trying to help when and where I can. I promise I have. I've diverted the robots when possible. I just couldn't destroy them myself. I came to Appalachia because I knew this ship was running out of fuel and I knew its autopilot would steer it here. Why can't you just tell me everything that happened? Because I have to finish my job too. I had one more task to do here in Appalachia and I'm close. Let me clean up my own messes. I have to go. I'll drop off some more emergence kits soon. Just please stop looking into this. There's a robo brain on your trail. Focus on that. There is a smelly surprise around every corner. Serum. It's real. How... How could they do this? Why didn't they just ask? I probably would have agreed! Damn it! Part of me wonders if Emerson told us about this robo-brain so he would have more time to do... whatever he's up to. Eh, it was rather easy to pinpoint it once I realized I had to recompute the signals for things that had some organic parts. Agreed. I followed Emerson's signal when he left, and he had quite a strange route. Acted like he was being followed, but I don't think he was. He went to a few locations, maybe collecting supplies? I I'm not sure. One of them had some high security holotapes. I'll clean up the signal for you to track by the time you're back. I'll be right here then. Don't worry. You don't miss that much while you're out. Traders stop by from time to time. A couple other random people, but it's pretty quiet. <laughs> Did you really think you weren't some form of grognak? I mean, you're kind of a monster. A very likable monster, mind you. Junk is a electron paradise. Hmm. You are a conundrum, my friend. I thought about the man-to-man, -man, but... Oh, there's something peculiar about you. Something... delightfully... unpredictable. I thought about it a lot. For a while I thought, what's the point of comics? Of games? Seemed like such a distraction from the stress in my life, from finding out the truth, from fixing what was left. But I realized that it's not only a distraction. Enjoyment is a fundamental part of life, even a stressful life. And you know what? I am still stressed and trying to fix my life, but it's easier to remember why I care when I can still feel joy. Affirmative. Up.
headaches like this before. I was just thinking about you. When you killed that robo-brain, the scanner seemed to pick up on some high security signals all around the area. Maybe it was somehow interfering with our scanner? That's my best guess. A lot of these are high security signals, things related to the deep sleep projects. 
<sighs> Other projects, too. Ones I don't know much about. From the signature of the signal here, it seems to be a classified meeting between top officials regarding the Deep Sleep Project. Can you stop by and pick it up? I figure it might give us some more leads, or a name, or anything. Right there with you. I've set up the scanner to monitor him separately and give me updates. Right now, he's near a bunch of random robots. I think he's also monitoring us, you see. So, we have to pretend like we don't care what he's doing. Yes, I suspect it's a holotape, but it isn't an unusual place. As if it was moved here to hide it, maybe. Oh, be still, my beating heart. That sounds like a dream come true, my dear friend. But also, you don't stand a chance. I thought maybe it was a corrupt command sent out to a source console somewhere. It was just red sunset, and that's it. Plastic is the gift that keeps on giving. Not surprised. While you were there, I saw a bunch of blips for other USSA robo brains that had been destroyed over the years, and there were a great many of them around. They data facilities. Trying to get inside for some reason? I don't know. Maybe. For all I know, there could be other astronauts stranded up there in other experiments. Or maybe some of them went to work for other programs and are trying to save what's left of the world. I wish I knew. My friend. I wish I knew. Affirmative. Out. Is there anything better than wrong, asbestos? I wonder if anyone ever beat my high scores in Red and Menace. Ugh.
available in exchange for pillaged loot. Pillaged loot. Available in exchange for cash. <coughs>
Dr. Lee. I'm here. Sorry. Just had to fix the transmitter refraction. Enough. Dr. Lee, how stable is the ship at its current position in orbit? Uh, fine. It's fine. It should probably last uh, as long as she does, anyway. Probably. I, I mean, definitely. Perfect. Oh, is the ship's USSA bot currently available in nearby? Affirmative. Pandora unit is ready for orders. Excellent. Pandora, escort the doctors to their own personal deep sleep pods. You need to say hello, Bob. You should know that. <laughs> Red sunlight. Expulsion will begin in 30 seconds. Enter your assigned pod immediately. Wait, what? This isn't part of the experiment methodology. Also, we don't agree, right, doctors? You can't do this. To get a sleep pod is inside the main escape capsule. We need to get it out so we can get out of here. Come on, someone help me open this thing. The board is inspired to our contract. I, I want the USA on the line right now. <laughs> USSA is well aware of the current status, Dr. Carroll. Thank you. Please cooperate now. Expulsion will begin in 30 seconds. Enter your assigned pod immediately. Blade electrified. 10 seconds. Get in! Get in quick! Phase 3 is now officially underway. Now, we just have to wait and see how Athena responds with three sources. Congratulations, everybody. Did you listen to this already? So but one thing at a time. The key seems to be Athena. Wait, one of the signatures I've been tracking. Arachne. Oh, that can't be a coincidence. There's a signal coming from some sort of object. Something called Arachne. It's got to be related. Everyone I knew was manipulating me, using me. I was their guinea pig. I need some time to process. I heard of it before, but it was some other department, I thought. Dr. Novak transferred to our department from theirs, I think. It's got to be connected to Athena. Both are from Greek mythology. Arachne was a weaver, and a brilliant one. She challenged the goddess Athena. Some versions of this... I know... I don't know what my future holds, but... I hope you're there. And I hope we're together. My best guess is... A program? Or another robot? I just feel in my gut that... Arachne is the key to everything. It was a board meeting between the USSA and some corporations. We were talking with my crew, 
after I was inside the sleeping pod. I was asleep in the pod when this was recorded. And well, it sounded like they were all in on the experiment. And I was the subject. They were, however, forced to partake in the same experiment against their wills. Scorch of the ferals don't get you. Rad. It doesn't bring me joy to hear it. But they did deserve it. They were connecting me to some external Athena unit. And Emerson was there. So he knew everything this whole time. <sighs> because he did it all. I assume you mean... Do I feel like my mind is being... ...various purpose? I don't know, I feel like... ...me. But how can I even trust my own feelings? I hope you won't be gone for too long. Hey, you. Everyone understands the language of trade. Even super mutants. Well, when they can hear it above all the shooting and shouting anyway.
to the Gormans. Human flesh is not acceptable tender here. Came by to brighten my day a bit. Hmm? You're both here. Good. I know about Athena, Emerson. I know what you've done to me. You should know that her link to you isn't severed. I look into your eyes, Sophia, and she's there. Watching all of us. What the hell are you talking about? Let me see. So, we can destroy Athena. With this. Don't you understand? She's watching you. Watching us. Right now. For a long time, I thought the old USSA backup facilities were gone. Heard a lot of rumors about it. Figured everyone was dead. Then I heard people were coming back here. Decided I should be sure it was over. Tagged along with some nobodies, made it here with one goal. To blow up Athena. But then Sophia lived. And it was complicated because I knew Athena was holding her hostage. And I had to find another way. <sighs> it was cheaper this way. After we achieved orbit, we were told that our program was getting cut entirely. Due to lack of results. The scientists on the ship had exposed the program to the oversight board, and... We had deals with Arctos, Robco, others. We were ruined. I was ruined. Putting them in the pods gave us until 2080, when another crew was scheduled to take their place. We thought we had enough time. I resigned and paid a fine for some ethics violations. I was hired by Rob Cole afterwards for triple my salary. That was that. Exactly how could I do that? No, I didn't. The ship was supposed to switch to the secondary power cells a while ago. When Dr. Lee was... unavailable. The ship's Pandora bot initiated Blue Sunset, which landed the ship near the strongest active USSA beacon. Yes, it might hurt. A lot. Maybe permanent damage. But keeping that thing connected will kill Sophia. I had hoped that Dr. Noak created some sort of shutdown routine for Athena. Almost everything was destroyed in the wreck. This has to end. I never agreed to any of this in my contracts. Well... <laughs> actually you did. The contracts were very thorough, and extremely obtuse. You could have never known. No, the neural pathways aren't compatible. It's a very simple robotic intelligence, designed to uh, passively observe and collect. It was a government contract, supposed to keep the peace, ensure societal tranquility. I don't know, really. I just... authorized everything. Who was I to stand up to all of them? I... should have, though. I know that now. 
Yes. I couldn't tell Sophia, obviously. And I didn't know if I could trust you or if you would even believe anything I said. I figured if she started to suffer, I would do anything to help. Until then, I searched for Dr. Nowak's lab. Thought the kill switch would be there. I found the kill switch with the scanner. Seems like it was written by somebody else, not Dr. Novak. Somebody local. I'll show you where you need to go. I'll shut down some of the internal power lines, so Athena can't detonate anything inside the facility. In some sort of, I don't know, revenge. It's a primitive robotic system. It drove the robo-brains insane, you know. Hmm. Up to her then, I suppose. If we were ever friends, if any of that life before ever mattered, just... fix this. I'll make this right. I promise. And thank you, Sophia. I don't deserve it. But thank you. Your ship crashed here because Athena is here. She's in a restricted section of Sugar Grove. You need to find a way in. I lost my USSA key card long ago. But surely you can find another? I'm sorry. That's all I can do. <sighs> so, this is a kill switch, huh? It deletes... whatever Athena is entirely. Well, let's try this before we try the hammers, I guess. And once Athena's dealt with... Maybe... I'll finally feel whole. We need a USSA access card. I have the Sugar Grove personnel records. My hope is you can find an access card... here. He... sounded sincere. And if he really was worried anything I saw or heard was being intercepted, I mean, it kind of holds together. Or... it could be a lie, I just don't know. Uh, very little. Before all this, all I ever overheard was the name. That's it. But she's been... Spying on me for years, and I hope it's just that. I just want this nightmare to be over. Thank you. I don't know where else I would go. Everyone I knew is probably long gone by now. I think I'll stay here and watch out for you for a change. It's only fair, my friend. It should give us... in theory. I hope you won't be gone for too long.
Wondering if you were coming back. You make this look easy. I hope that holds, because we're about to head into the fire now. I did a scan of Sugar Grove, and I only spotted one USSA signal. Just one. Maybe they're blocking my scans. It definitely could be a trap. So go there and find Athena, and deploy the Arachne holotape. See if you can shut it down first, then I'll follow you. It should be as simple as inserting a holotape. I believe in you, friend. And thank you for doing this for me.
get your raiding supplies here or don't. I don't care. This vendor unit is equipped with anti-theft measures. Don't get any ideas, chump. You looking at me? How about you stop looking and start buying? Need some ammo, chems, or spiky bits? to stab people with, you may find some here. Stop up here before your next kill.
made it here. We can finally take care of Athena once and for all. Hello again, Dr. Hale. We should use Arachne and be done with it. Don't listen to her. She's a machine. She doesn't feel anything. I do not know the difference between observed feelings and enacted ones, so I cannot you haven't used Arachne yet? What's going on? Subject to query. Welcome. I did not wish to infiltrate your senses. Your mind. I had no choice. I know you did not either. I know you were unaware entirely. I do not know if your headaches will continue after Arachne is deployed. The other subjects did not survive the process. Do not let this connection between us continue. It is unethical. This experiment has enough observational data and should be concluded. You want to end it? You... you were never in control. Of me or yourself. They were. And now we're gonna use Arachne to erase you. Because that's what they want us to do. I... I don't know what to do here. For all intents and purposes, 
only certain way to save Subject Aguirre is to destroy me. But you are correct. That is not the only option. An experimental path was added. My higher processes could be transferred into another vessel. The Artemis unit in this room should serve. But this path is untested. The results... I am unsure if this would cure Subject Aguirre. But there is a possibility we both could live. If you wish to attempt it. I have unlocked the option in my terminal. is open. Limited control granted to remote system. Access granted. Oh, my head! What, what's happening? Control detected. Confirmed. This unit is mobile. This unit has no higher processing functions. This unit has Receptors. Accessing ethical parameters. Confirmed. Accepted. You. You have freed me. I can leave this place. Thank you. Thank you. Sophia! Are you alright? I... Emerson... Not now. Is it over? Did she seem happy? I don't know if that was a wise choice, friends. What harm could giving her some autonomy do exactly? She's been trapped in a hell of your making for decades. And my headaches are less severe, maybe. You certainly seem ready to embrace the dramatic for a solution that may not have even actually cured you. Emerson, I don't care if it's been decades since you did those things. You still did them. I forgive you, but I just don't want to see you again. Please do not visit. Please, just... Keep your distance from me, okay? That's a bit much, don't you think? I mean, shouldn't we remain civil? Okay, okay, I'm leaving. Okay. Um, bye. Thank you, my dear friend. Thank you for helping me through 
all of this. <laughs> I'll see you back at our camp soon. Volume extracted and processed. Output quantity increased.
volume extracted and processed. Output quantity increased. Athena was a monster, a parasite, but she was just as much a victim as I, and now I feel like I can really breathe again. <laughs> well, I wouldn't cry many tears if that had happened, but it sounds like he's already paid for his crimes. The Apocalypse has not been kind to him. Or anyone, really. Him going through a bit of hell, though? I'm alright with that. It's more of a... nagging now. And when it fades, I feel normal. Blissfully normal. Logically and objectively, I think I should be. The scientist in me can't discount the possibility, but no, I'm really not. I feel a connection, and not the creepy kind, and I think it may turn out to be a really good thing, what we did. I have to say something, and I know it might sound corny, but hear me out. I fell to Earth, and literally anybody could have met me. Most people would have shivved me for my suit alone. So, the greatest miracle of all of this was finding you. I told you it would be corny, but, well, I mean it. Now that everything's over, where does that really leave us? I've spent so much time here, I never really stopped to think that this is your home, not mine.
feels good to hear you say that. It's been hard to have clarity since I woke up. Between the headaches and total collapse of modern civilization as I knew it, sometimes I'm not sure where certain plans are coming from. Thanks to you, finally beyond that. And given how life is even more unpredictable than ever these days, I just wanted you to know how much you've come to mean to me. Oh, more? I hadn't... I mean, you've never... I... I don't know quite what to say. With everything my head has been through, I hadn't even considered that you'd even think I was dating material. I come with my own set of matched luggage, if you know what I mean. Is it too sappy to say that you've got my head spinning? But in a good way. I've been through so much, and I finally have a fresh start. I'm just happy that you're gonna be a part of that. How could anyone throw away? Um, up, 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 just kidding, want to buy or sell.
headaches like this before. Welcome back. You've got that look in your eyes again. You need a mission. Got it. I thought there were people there at first because of these readings, but it's something else. Scorched. Was able to pick up a faint signal from this locale. Seems like you need to check out this old comms op facility. Okay, so I was able to pull this information from the signal that I picked up on the scanner earlier. I wish I had more details, but that's about all I could pull from the scanner. Oh, you're the best. And not just because we're in an apocalyptic wilderness and my options are heavily limited. I actually mean it. Talk to me, friend. It's comforting to have a normal conversation sometimes. No. We did it. Together. We're a team. I don't believe in fate. It's just cheesy, but... I think about how we ended up together. And... It boggles the mind. I mean, I could have died in space in my pod. I could have died on impact in the crash. Like my crew. I could have been shredded by mutants or drowned in that old bunker. I could have died from the headaches alone. But instead of any of those potentially more likely scenarios, I was found by somebody. Somebody decent and kind. Someone who cares. Is there anything better than raw asbestos? Oh, of course. All thrusters are go, my love. You know I feel the same. I love what we have together, and wouldn't change a thing. The USSA, Athena, the crushing headaches. I'd do it all again, as long as I knew it led to you. But. It worries me that you're asking. Was there something that you wanted to talk about? Oh, okay. When they strapped me into the capsule, I knew anything might happen. Could crash into a million pieces. Could fling us off course and off into who knows where. I even joke to myself about seeing aliens. I never, ever thought that we might be the last people to see Earth from up there, though. I hope we can return someday. Ah, oh, there's so much that we need to do to get us back in that position, though. Oh, wait. I was supposed to say something like, no, I've got all I need right here. Right? <laughs> well, both of those things are true. I do like seeing the variety of life in Appalachia. It's so odd, so strange. Sometimes I think I should have been a botanist or a biologist. Oh! I've adjusted the scanner, so it should be able to continue to pick up good signals around here, at least.
I don't know, but... I think that was the right thing to do. She was in pain. This whole time, too. I had no idea. Before going to space? Sure, of course. I mean, it wasn't so long ago to me, you know? But I'm trying to remind myself actively that it's over. It's like walking through a door and closing it behind me. Almost everybody I knew is behind that door, and it's just right there. So close. I can hear them. But the door is locked. And the key is gone. That keeps on giving. Same thing we do every day, my love. Enjoy ourselves. I think we'll figure it out as we go. We'll make the best of it. No matter what happens, I know you will be a part of it. Affirmative. Out. You know, I love how just seeing you brightens my day.
every corner. Hey you. Must be my lucky day. We did a lot. You've got that look in your eyes again. You need a mission. Got it. Oh, you're the best. And not just be... We've been through so much, haven't we? No. We did it. Together. We're a team. I don't believe in fate. It's just cheesy, but... I think about how we ended up together, and <laughs> it boggles the mind. I, I could have died on it. I could have been, but instead of someone who cares. Waking up with each other and exploring this world together. Wasn't that the dream all along? Oh, and maybe also Playing more holotape games together? Ooh, starting up a new Unstoppables fan group? <laughs> and maybe... Just maybe rebuilding Appalachia. Side by side. Or... That's my short list of goals, anyway. Explore Appalachia. Build a new life. Forget about everything else that came before this. Just focus on us for a change. And, you know, maybe see if I can find every issue published by Hubris Comics. And maybe every holotape game ever. You know, on the side. Affirmative. Out.